Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a review today of what I would like to think of the simplest morphers one that were released by Bandai America. The, SP, the SPD morphers, I, I almost call them the SP license, which is a degradation to the SP license, if you know what I mean. I like to think of these morphers as the token morphers of Bandai of America today. I say that because people who would collect uh, from Band of America ever since after Wild Force, you would know that the quality of their products, especially the morphers, the figures, they were always top notch, but the morphers quality have been dropping ever since. I cannot comment on the Megazords because I do not collect them, so it's not right for me to make any comments towards them. This morpher, the Delta Morpher, was used by the five SPD Rangers pink, yellow, blue green and red. While this morpher, known as the Patrol Morpher, Japanese version, which is Master License, was used by Doggy Kruger, I believe his name was, and Shadow Ranger, to change into Shadow Ranger. The one in the actual TV show, both of them actually, had three modes, Change, and I believe it was called Foam, and Judge. But as you can see here, they entirely took out the mod Foam, and they merged Change and phone together meaning on the bottom here we have fake buttons molded on and the badge here the actual version when I say actual I mean the SP license and the one on the SPD TV show you had the badge here and then over here you had the rangers bio basically like same you would have if it was the pink range you would have Sid's picture here and some biography details like a uh, full name, date of birth, um, ranger rank, like stuff like that. But instead, what they did was instead they took out a whole mode out and they put some fake buttons here, which kind of sucks. And for the Japanese toy version, you got the five cutouts of the five decker ranger, and you had the option of choosing one of the five cutouts and putting it up here based on your favorite uh, decor ranger which was really cool because it gives kids the option to become their favorite ranger I think it's not right to assume that red is everyone's favorite just because he's the leader so when you go to the bottom right here for judgment mode you have this right here they actually kept I believe this is the same for the SPD morphers in the TV show and the SP license only difference is that when you press this button right here, you would have an ongoing ticking noise that you would hear. And depending on the time that you would push this, you would either hear judgment time, which is the guilty mode, or you would hear the innocent sound, which I actually don't recall what it sounds like. It's been a while. So let's uh, move on to the sound features. Before I move on, I'm just going to introduce you to the buttons. We have a button that moves like a little lever here. goes up and down, depending on the feature that you want. You either push it up for the change mode or down for the judgment mode. In the SP light, since you had an option of actually moving it to the middle there, because you had the phone mode. So let me just turn this on to show you the sound feature. When it's on judgment mode, you basically push it and you hear this noise. You push it again and you hear the same noise. But for change mode, you push it all the way up, you put, press this, and you hear that noise there. And when you push it again, you hear that annoying noise, which, which is the basic alert noise that every morpher has. And that's basically it for the SPD morpher. It doesn't really make much noises. And you have the on and off button here can either off it or on it. The patrol morpher, I'm not really going to go through it because the basics basically the same thing. You have the badge and the fake buttons. And then you have the judgment time. Then you have the Power Rangers SPD logo. Or it's just a Power Rangers logo here. Sound features are exactly the same. Only difference is the colors. It's black and gold instead of black and white. This actually, out of a rating out of 5, they get a 2 because, honestly, they could have done so much better with this morpher than what we've gotten. 
But at the same time, Amer um, the not the uh, Western kids usually they're very uh, rough with the toys, so I can understand why they didn't spend that much time on it. But at the same time, the question comes into hand: Why would you spend so so much time and put so much effort into Morphers back then? And then when it comes to Morphers nowadays, why would you? Why would you like um, put as little effort as possible? Sorry about that. My phone just went off. I'm just gonna check it for a second there. Okay. I kept on getting this really odd call twice already, so I was just checking if it was that person. Basically, yeah. Like I was saying, these are actually one of the worst morphers ever built. They're actually a piece of garbage to me. So, anyways. Pricing points. I got this in SPD during SPD. The standard price in Canada, fourteen ninety nine. eBay, you can get it for really cheap, but do not spend over twenty dollars. Like I said, this is a piece of garbage. Like I only got them just to have Morphers represent the SPD side. I have no love for SPD or Decoranger. It is a cool show. Not that I'm saying it's bad, but I didn't really care enough to actually. Go the extra mile and get the true SP license. But if you care about Decorator SPD and care about show accuracy, get the SP license. Don't get this because you'll be highly disappointed. But if you're a simple fan like me of the TV show, this will do. They also came with these belt clips here. Let me just get one here. You can actually clip it onto the back right here. Let me try and get this on. Put it from the front here, I believe. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And you can clip this onto your belt like this. And that was, I guess, pretty cool because if you're a kid, you usually like to take the toys with you, and that's a good way of not losing them by clipping them onto your pants. So that's basically it for the review of the SP license and the actually the SPD Morphers. I don't know, I keep on calling the, them the SP license. And uh, I hope this review helped you. And on another note, I got around to getting myself, actually for a really cool price, for $65 actually, uh, and a mint on card set of the Talking Lost Galaxy Power Rangers set. The Talking Lost Galaxy Power Rangers set is the really thin Power Rangers Lost Galaxy figures that came with their signature weapons and each side of phrase. Basically the slim ones, not the fatter ones. And I was shocked when I got them the second I saw them. Because my Lost Galaxy figures at the moment, they're like really coming down. They look really old. They have more than 10 years of play. Like I played with them a lot when I was young. And they're coming down heavy and they look really horrible. So um, these new figures, I bought them to replace them really. And keep a lookout for those because I will be doing a um, mint on card review for them. And on another note... Um, Funny story, actually, I saw a yellow communicator. Seeing as how yellow is one of my ultimate favorite colors, I wanted to get the yellow communicator. And I was actually debating, should I get it or should I not? And I was consulting a lot of friends. And then it came around, I was bored, I was watching a Power Rangers episode. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Switch Witchery was the episode right after we got the second cast, Ashley, TJ, Carlos, and Cassie. So it was the episode right after they became Power Rangers. And I came across the scene where Ashley was actually sitting on a bench crying because her friends apparently have been really rude to her. So I saw her wrist and I was like, holy crap, the replica looks just like the one on her hand. Ever since I was young, I was a huge Ashley fan. And the funny thing is, I do not know why, like, why I really like her. I still do. And I have no idea when my friends ask me, why do you like Ashley? What What is it about her? I... I'm clueless, I wish I knew. But in seeing it on her hand, I was like, oh cool, so Ashley has it, so I must have it as well. And it was really funny, so I ended up buying it the second I saw it on Ashley. Anything Ashley uses, like her morphers, like, it's a must-have for me. I know it's really strange, because I honestly do not know why it is. So I ended up getting it. So keep a lookout for the review on the yellow communicator, I'm, I'm really awaiting that. So that's my review on the SPD Morphers. I'm a little funny story there. 
And as always, please feel free to leave feedback and always ask questions. Do not hesitate to ask them. Thank you and have a wonderful day.